Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sly 3. We're gonna start a cold alliance. It's gonna be cold. There's a joke I made last video that I can't remember now. Oh well. After a careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't gonna be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. Oh, this guy. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was going to let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime, and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. So, back to China, back to the Panda King. This should go well. It's not like he killed our five. I'm only 20% done with this game, are you kidding me? Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kind of zen out. Ah, uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King! We humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Burry, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way. Is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Because, uh, I don't know, it's... yeesh. So they're just going to hang out waiting for me. But anyway, we are back with Sly, and, uh... Oh, we got tiger guards running around. And it is about time I uh, got back to this. Had a bit of a backlog for a while, which was nice, but uh, it's pretty much out, and I need to record this again. Much as my uh, rose-tinted glasses have been broken towards this game. I'm far much uh, enjoying Demon Souls, much more. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do when this game's done. There are various reasons... Uh, why wow, that's complicated. Okay! I'm in position! Penelope, you're up next. 
I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly can jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! Well, that's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. The car spawned I'd love in. to see him pull off those athletic moves. Good thing I installed a turret on this little lady. So, first of all, bamboo doesn't work this way. And that's pretty much it. Bamboo really doesn't work this way. Remember how in Sly 2, when they couldn't reach somewhere, Murray would throw them? And it made, you know, sense, because Murray was big, and they were pretty light. And he could just totally do that, you know, why not? Yes! There you go, Sly. I hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really. <laughs> Anytime. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. Also, I think we would have been fine if they weren't split down the middle. Probably would have been okay. But that's one man's opinion. So, yeah, various reasons, uh, most of which involving, uh, whoop, that's awkward. That is very awkward. And probably looked absurd from everyone else's point of view. Daddy was right there. Really shat the bed on that last one, eh? Um, part of it involves I'm going away to college. Oh, come on now. Give me a break. Part of it involves I'm going away to college and, uh, most likely will be leaving my, uh, systems behind, with the exception of my computer. So, uh, any Xbox or Wii U or PS3 games that feel like recording will not be being done for roughly two years since I'm going to college. But, uh, you know, PC games are all up on the table, so I gotta find more PC games to play and record. Might go back to New Why Vegas, who knows. Up on those I'll look into really? it. Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hand and I'll throw you up there! There's always emulators, I suppose. Oh yeah, more throwing. We even remembered this part. We needed a cutscene for this? This, this is awkward, Murray. Well, that was awkward. Yep. There we go. <laughs> I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. One shot per rocket? Why would you hop down? What? Now you're farther away from them. What did that achieve, Bentley? Well, that's awkward. Damn it. There we go. Well. And... Missed. Son of a bitch! Oh, god damn it! Impotent rage! Jesus Christ. Okay, I gotta pace this better. 
There we go. I'll just hang out up here. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? Huh? Speak up! Well, that's You're right. quite far you away be because you felt like jumping down there. To help you get up to those rockets. Oh, higher. This is also the only time I think he plays the guru in China. Let's take this time to turn into sticks. Fireworks. And... A bonsai tree. What the? No! You were supposed to get on his back, Guru. Damn it, Guru! Your confidence is costing us dearly. I'm sure he'll be fine. You know, this is a lot of risk there, Bentley. It's a bit of a gamble. That these rockets will go exactly where you want them to. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Strong work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. I'm sorry, how's that now? Guards aren't even here anymore. They all went home. This is... Mm, that just cheats gravity at that point. Breaking laws of physics. Now oh, the guard's back. I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No! It'll require channeling. You can just stay down there, Penelope. Sure, you'll be fine. Inside the panda cake, the guru will bridge your minds. It's a lot of supernatural crap in these games. This looks familiar. I see you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the thievious Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child! You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Foo. Uh-oh. You kick this guy's ass. Don't give me this uh oh nonsense. Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel. Still just as easy. Fiery wheel. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Snap out of it. This is all in your head. My mind is clear. Focused on your destruction. I've got to break him out of this memory loop. I should uh, make him sad. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell well, apart. Forever up to this point. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you, but that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we've both changed. 
come out of this train. You were arrested at one point, I think. Today, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced. Why can't it ever be like, idea. hey, want to help us steal some people. shit? We'll cut you in on a massive pile of loot. Yeah, sure. How come we gotta do favors for everyone? I shaved his beard when he did that. Nifty. Shame. I like that uh, Fu Man shoe he had going on. A cold alliance. I would have liked to see the uh, artwork they used from uh, the first game. For that little bit. We all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jean King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sal. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy twice. He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him joke. next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully, with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sao's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their old type security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything out the chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. Sounds charming. So, yeah, yeah, I know Grapple Cam. So, we'll be taking care of that next time on Slide 3. Until then, thanks so much for watching. I've been Topenet, and I will see you in the next video. See you around, ass clowns.